Welcome to Genuine Core guys. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the alerts from the Java FX.scene.control package which can be used to give the user some messages. In Java Swing, we have seen J option pane for uh, giving alerts or messages to the user and Java FX provided this alert class quite lately because if uh, if you look into the alert documentation uh, from the docs.oracle.com you can see that it came only uh, in the java fx 8u40 version so if you have if you are running java less than 8u40 make sure you have updated your jdk in order to run this program so let's have a look at at the various kinds of alerts which are possible using javafx.scene.control.alert so this is the first and the most simplest type of alert which is the alert 1 and when I click on this alert 1 you have a very simple message so let's look into the code so this is the first alert in this alert method you can see that I have created an object of this alert class and the alert is from javafx.scene.control.alert and there are various kind of alerts just like we have seen in the uh, j option pane and here i have used a warning alert and i can change that by uh, clicking here and there are five types of alerts are available confirmation error information warning and i'm going to change this alert type into error and let's run the code So the icon of the alert has changed to the error icon and next thing is the title. So the title is nothing but the title of this window and it is set to basic alert and this uh, method I mean a one dot set context text is used to set the message here. So I have set the context text to have a very simple message and header text is set to null. That is because uh, if you use the header text you will get another type of alert which is which seems to be little complex this a1 dot show and wait is the method that actually triggers the alert and it's a kind of blocking method let's have a look into the documentation and you can see that shows up the dialog and waits for the user response i mean it will block the ui thread of java fx so that it will stop any kind of animation that is running on the ui thread so if you are working on some kind of animation you should never call this show and wait method you can see that uh, it must not be called during animation or layout processing so in such cases you can definitely use a1 dot show which is a kind of non blocking uh, there so that it will not block any animations or something like that so that's about the first type of alert and we have the second alert alert 2 and this type of alert the difference uh, from the first alert is that I have set the header text to something like basic alert 2 not null in the previous case I have set the alert to null so uh, there was no the, the, there was no separation like this and in this case there is a separation so I have set the alert type to information and set the title to basic alert 2 and then I have set the context text which is this text and I have set the header text to basic alert 2 and I have call show and which which is definitely the blocking call and let's have a look into the third type of alert so let's run the code and this is the third alert I have given the name as basic alert 2 which is not important and in this type of alert I have added an extra option I mean this show details part which will allow us to expand the message this is very useful in case of exception reporting because it contains a large amount of text and in this case I have given a file not found exception so let's have a look into the code and the first line is similar to before I have given a an alert object with the information alert type and I have set the alert type to alert set title to alert and given the header text as basic alert 2 which is going to be changed as 3 and I have given the context text and in the third case I mean in order to show this extra 
information i have created a text area and passed a string exception to this one so you can give any kind of text to this one and for the sake of simplicity i have created an exception and created a stack trace so let's have a deeper look into the theta later and i have created an exception using exception ex is equal to new file not found exception and this is nothing but the header of the exception and i have created a string writer object this is because what i in order to get the complete information about a uh, exception i have to call the ex.pin stack trace and in order to print something to the string i have to use a print writer and i have written the stack trace to print writer which is connected to the string writer so by calling sw dot to string i will get the complete information so that's it that's how we create the third alert by using the text area te new text area and oh i forgot this this is the important part i i mean we have the object a light a1 and let's we will get the dialog pane by a1 dot get dialog pane and we can set the expandable content so that's how we set the text area into this expandable content so i hope you got it and we have called the a1 dot show weight for the blocking code so that's about the third type of alert and this is the fourth type of alert so let's run the code so I am going to click on the fourth alert and you can see that it is a confirmation dialog it's pretty simple actually we have called the method I mean the alert type as confirmation and we set the title to confirmation text and header text and the context test as area ok and the result of this uh, button click I mean OK or cancel is taken using the option button so that's it the option button type is equal to uh, alert dot show and wait so it will block the call and will wait until we click on either of this button and we will get the but, uh, button click to this result variable and by comparing the result to button or OK and or cancel we can process results so when i click on this ok button you can see that the output is ok so if i press the cancel button i will get the result as cancel so that's it that's a fourth type of alert you will go for a confirmation alert type and you will receive the uh, mouse click event to this option result and the result is processed so let's have a look into the fifth type of alert. It seems to be large, but it is pretty simple actually. Instead of going for an OK or cancel button, in this case we have given three buttons and one cancel button. So let's see how we can do that. So I'm going to the code. We have gi given a confirmation alert and we have set the title, header and context and we have created four buttons using the button type uh, button type and for the cancel button we have given a predefined data type as i mean predefined button type as cancel or close and one two three are general purpose button you can set this text by uh, passing the name as constructor to this button type and alert dot get button types dot set all and then passing these buttons we can get this i mean we have created four buttons and passed all this button in this method set or method and like just like previous case we have taken the result to alert dot show and wait which is the blocking call again you must remember that it will block all your animations so and by the you can um, use a switch here in this case i have used then if else case and if the f button is first button then i will display one or two or three etc so i'm going to press two and the result is two so that's it alert 5 I think you got the idea and let's have a look into the last type of alert so I'm going to cancel this so there will be a cancel option and this is the sixth alert in this type of alert you can read an input from the user this is something like uh, j option dot show input dialog uh, that's in the swing and you can give here in this case I have set the I have created a text input dialog 
object and pass a genuine coder so that's why there is a genuine coder default value here and i have given the title header text and context text and just like before i have given a dialog dot show and wait where the option result object will receive in this case uh, but there was a button type and in this case we have passed a string uh, i mean the return value will be of string and the result will contain the out, uh, result and the system out out dot print dln name i mean by calling the result dot get method you will get the value that is typed here so i'm going to press ok and you will get something like genuine quarter here and let's see what happens if you press a cancel button so nothing happens so you know if you want to process the cancel button you have to do that so that's it that uh, these are the six type of file at present in the java fx dot scene dot control dot alert thank you for watching subscribe for more cool videos